Hey everybody, what's going on? Fallout here. Bungie just dropped a brand new Vidoc for the upcoming expansion, Witch Queen. Really hype stuff going on. I'm going to give you my live reaction. So if you want to watch the complete Vdoc with no interruptions, definitely check out Bungie's YouTube channel. But if you want to hear my thoughts on each and every little thing in the video, well then, here we go. What is false? The Witch Queen is an unsettling mystery. <laughs> Our biggest foe, Sabathun, has our grandest tool, the light. It's paying off narrative threads that we planted way back in Destiny 1. Really? Narrative threads from I'm D1? to protect humanity. How do we stop this? The stakes in the universe are rising, and it's the greatest challenge that we've ever faced. How's that? We're shedding that dogma of light equals good, darkness equals bad. Is that better? We're really entering the mists and trying to discern what's lurking just underneath the surface. What is okay. your truth? Now? Holy shit. There are a lot of bombshells in the Witch Queen narrative. Thanks, Joe. And that's just scratching the surface of what we're going to get into this year. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. Witch Queen and Season of the Risen is chapter one in the beginning of Season of the Risen. Is that the first time we've heard it uh, said out loud? Season of the of the Risen. Is that uh, I guess that's confirmed now. I don't know if I had we heard that before. I don't know. The end for the light and darkness saga. We're really, really getting to the core of what it means to be a guardian. We are looking at and asking big questions about nice hair, the light bro. and darkness. Like we have a big bad that we've been anticipating for a really long time coming back in the, in the form of Savathun. Savathun's had a hand in most of the major conflicts that we've been involved with. I've heard about Savathun for years and just bits and pieces, and then like you see it slowly building over seasons until we come to this Stop huge pausing. critical uh, point. I'm going to do whatever Savathun's I want. Thanks. No longer just someone you hear about. She's not just interfering in little ways. She's now ready to take center stage. Sight. Oh, One, shit. two, three. Uh, Savathun, she's larger than life. We wanted to make her feel imposing and very regal and dancing through motion in some way. Light offers us a fresh start. <laughs> She's very manipulative. She wow. is very it's recording ethereal, all that in garage? but she also has like that creepiness to her as well. Who she is this guy? She help us out with this pyramid ship problem that's coming our way. But the reality of the situation is Sabathun is only on Sabathun's side. We've outlived yeah. our purpose and it is to Sabathun's benefit to wipe us off that chessboard. She's lived among us. She has Osiris no. She knows us inside and out. And she's been a step ahead of us like the whole way. So how do you beat someone like that? It isn't too late. Oh, look who it is. You can still be forgiven. Be careful. I'll, I'll hold, hold you, you to it. it. In order to oh, beat boy. Sabathun, you need to understand Sabathun. Damn, that is a huge throne, throne world, bro. world is a manifestation huge. of Sabathun's own personality, which is in Witch Queen going through a transformation through the light. She has these areas that she's kind of trying to shun and push away. For the old hive areas, it's much more atmospheric. It's very Beautiful. dense. It's very claustrophobic. It's spooky. Then when you make your way into the Lucent Hive area, it's a lot more open and broad. It's definitely brighter, oh. it's definitely more lively. Oh, look at that, so tight. You want people to look at it like an impressionist painting. Something that's very pretty wow. from far away. But Our as you team get went closer, all out, bro. It's not really what it seems. It's, it's very unsettling. What the hell gun is that? What is that? You're looking at shapes. You're looking at these things within the world. The hell you're not was entirely that? sure what they are. And you have to get close and you have to investigate. What's really going to be Weird exciting for players is that they're going to get to play that part of psychic detective, trying to solve psychic the many detective. mysteries of the throne world. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let it play, but oh my Rich god! Green campaign, I think, is we'll probably the most ambitious campaign we've made in a very long time. What is that gun? Some kind campaign. of new fusion so, rifle? Leaning into the journey you can find in exotic missions or uh, the mechanics you might find in a dungeon. You have to kind of think your way through. You have to figure out like, hey, what do I need to do next in order to get to the end of this? We've got Sabathun, right? The queen of lies. So mm -hmm. this campaign is full of surprises. Sabathun has all these abilities and you got to make sure that all of the abilities of the bosses would be something worthy of her. And as I kept thinking about wow. this, you know, I felt like I was really becoming 
So, I yeah. love her necklace. It's got a little hive We've necklace. We've also added the Fine. legendary difficulty, which is called Become Legend. It's not for the faint of heart. It's going to be loaded Legend with difficulty? these moments that are going to be frustrating, almost like teeth gnashing. But when you get through those encounters, you're going to feel like really accomplished. Double rewards, yeah. As people who have worked on raids and dungeons before, being able to broaden that experience for what? any kind of player who comes in is really important. If the Witch Queen is the psychic detective fantasy and journey, then Season of the Risen is that same detective throwing on their flak jacket and defending Earth from the Hive Guardians and the Lucent Hive and Sabathun herself. <laughs> wow. When Sabathun shows up on our doorstep with the light, the first person to lend us help is Keitel. You want us to hit them. I need us to hit them. She's got this light suppressing technology that the Cabal were using in Season of the Chosen, and now she's going to help us use that against the Lucent Hive. I know it's Keitel. Keep it in your pants, Paul Tassi. Keep it in the pants, all right? When you're working with Kaya Tall, she has a different approach. It's not about asking questions. It's about getting in there and extracting. We don't really understand what happened when Savathun actually was able to take the light. And so the campaign in Season of the Risen, in many ways, is about that story. What the Guardians hell am I need to stop Savathun's advance beyond the throne world. And Savathun poses an existential threat to everyone because she basically has an undead army. In fighting the Lucent Brood, this isn't our first time in the game fighting other light bearers, but it is the first time True. that we'll be facing other light bearers that have much more relentless motives. When you look at these hive guardians and when they Dude, that do guy is their awesome. abilities, I love that guy. you immediately make that connection like, oh, they are using my powers against me. As soon as we see the knight pop its super <laughs> and it has two <laughs> shields, you immediately That's are like, funny. oh yeah, I see that connection. And then it's like, <laughs> and then you're like, it hits you with those things and then you're, you're dead. And it's just a, an amazing experience. The no Guardians sound effects from him today. Like fire team that you're fighting against. They got every class represented. The Acolyte, when that character casts, does very similar thing as the player like. Yeah, that man's got wizard. one hell of a beard. The sparks go out. Sound effects. It's ready to go. He's doing if you're it. not smart about it, if you're not paying attention, you are essentially going to have to play that fight over again. If oh, you're God. successful in taking down one of these hive units that are wielding kill the light, it. you actually have to go up and kill their ghosts. That was like one of my favorite things that we were able to do in this game is just that moment where you crush the ghost. It's kind of this moral dilemma. A ghost is your companion. Doesn't seem like a moral and now suddenly me. <laughs> you have one in your hand and you're about to crush it. But it's a bad happens, ghost. You're like looking at your hand like, I can't believe what I've just done. Am I doing this? Should I be doing this? I have a ghost. Yeah, like, exactly. What, what, what is, is this going on? <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at that armor. Oh, my brutal, God. The most dangerous enemies we've faced so far. And so we're going to need better, more powerful weapons and tools. The dude is really tight clothing. Right? We did a bunch of work early on looking at various different types of weapons we could add to the sandbox. We wanted to introduce a special weapon archetype that was effective more at a middle range, but also had these kind of additional roles associated with uh, it. The old glaive here, yeah. The glaive sure. is a projectile weapon, and it Beautiful. is a shield, and it's a melee weapon. We wanted to keep that experience oh, in first person. It has an immediacy that you don't really get when you're using a sword because the camera is so much further back. <laughs> because this is also a projectile weapon with a slower moving projectile, the onus of skill on aiming these weapons is about leading and compensating for the speed of the projectile and anticipating that. If you're in a really I'm difficult in. encounter and one of your teammates dies somewhere out in the open where you normally wouldn't be able to get to them, you can bring that shield up and actually get the revive and then fall back. That looks fucking awesome. Love it. Didn't know that you could like melee combo. He's like whacking people with it. That looks sick. I'm totally in. Glaives originate with Savathun trying to steal an extremely powerful weapon for her own use and players will use the weapon crafting recipes that they find throughout the campaign in order to Weird reconstruct armor. this incredibly powerful and incredibly ancient weapon. When you put together your glaive okay. in the campaign, you just Chris get a taste Proctor. that that's what you want to do for the rest of the weapons that you get. Weapon crafting lets you target a specific role and go and build that and you know how long it's going to take you to get there and you get exactly the thing that you want. 
I really want to see what people do with it and like the feedback that we're gonna get. Oh and my God. People sharing all of the things that they're doing with that new system. You're creating your guardian and you want to Damn. be able to shape your guardian into what you want them to be. And this gives us a great opportunity to continue to do that. This is a, a really big season for weapons in particular. We've got eight brand new exotics. The Osteo Streaker exotic submachine gun. This is something which Guardians have made, but it's modeled after weapons of sorrow, like Thorn and Touch of Malice. Fires swarms of tiny homing projectiles that land on a target <laughs> and explode <laughs> in this poison burst. Yep, that looks really cool. We have an cool. exotic machine gun where the whole idea is be the Colossus. You can launch a barrage of up to 20 homing missiles. It's a comical no. amount of yeah. projectiles on the screen. Become the Chungus. We're doing an exotic glaive for each class this time, and the exotic perks tie deeply into the mechanics of the classes. We think I they're going it. to be really cool additions to build crafting. We've got, you know, the usual suite of raid weapons, destination, activity, Tight. seasonal. I recounted up this morning, I think it's about 50 new weapons. That wasn't, was that a new fusion rifle? Oh, well. You're going to have two new exotic armor for each 50 class. 50 new weapons? Six, one stasis, one non-stasis. The Titan stasis exotic. Cast your barricade and instead of, you know, this traveler's light and the rally barricade, you create a giant wall of ice. Even though this thing is massive, you still get all the benefits of rally barricade. That's kind of awesome. Warlock void exotic. We called them the devouring rift legs because we wanted empowering rift to feel like it had a place in endgame content the way that healing rift does. Yeah. Empowering Rift doesn't heal you. Well, what if it did? Wait. In season 16, you're going to see a massive revamp. I want more info than that. How does it heal you? Empowering Rift doesn't heal you. Well, wait, what if it did? Does it just combine both Rifts together? I don't, I want to know more. Ramp to the Void subclass systems across all three classes. This is a huge update and will allow players to build craft in ways oh that they've never my God. done before. One of the things we wanted to do is Void create a core set of verbs like we did with stasis. Verbs. Anyone can run suppressors now. I think that's a pretty cool that's thing probably, to be. I'm what did he just fucking say? Did he just fucking say that any class can use suppressor grenades now? What did he just fucking say? Oh God. Oh God, no. Oh, chat. Oh, Twitch chat. I'm so... Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to be running suppressor yeah. grenade oh, yeah. We wanted you to feel like you were the energy vampire. Feel like you were the night star. What is that? Feel like you were that protector, that big sentinel titan. So you're going to see things like Bastion, a new titan aspect, where you take your big old sentinel shield, slam it into the ground, and create this void barricade that's going to apply overshield to you and your buddies. Oh, that's sick. My favorite aspect is probably Child of the Old Gods. As this Child warlock the controls dogs. space and time, I'm able to rip a hole into another dimension and then pull out this little like sentient black hole. <laughs> so it's a, so it's a void buddy. So like an arc buddy, but a void buddy. Whenever I target an enemy, my little black hole buddy is gonna fly <laughs> over there oh, and great. start draining their life force. The Void oh, 3.0 update is really setting the stage for how we're thinking about updating subclasses for the rest of the year. We're going to extend this wow. philosophy to solar and arc. Solar obviously is going to be about burning. Chris but there's Proctor. this other component to solar, and that's healing. Arc, arc is all about changing. It's all about lightning, direct attacks, right, quickness. Right, right, we're going right. to take the fantasies that you know and love today. We're going to embellish them. So what you'll see is like all of the new abilities, all the new actions you take, reinforce that to the core. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Witch Queen is very much the culmination of the last six to seven years of just destiny all together. And really, this is starting the road to the final showdown. But things aren't necessarily just Damn. dark and light anymore. There's a lot more nuance in the game. It's going to be a dope. real fight. Players have something that they're really going to be challenged by. I can't wait for everyone to find out what's been going on with Savathun. Like, I'm excited. <laughs> So clever. Our oh, ad is covering my face. <laughs> From the throne world to the campaign to the customizable build crafting, it all comes Custom. together to make Destiny feel really new and fresh. We've got more Destiny coming this year than any other year before. It's one of the most ambitious releases we've ever put together, and the team is firing on all cylinders. Tell me, Garden, what do you think you're going to do? 
Damn. Uh, that looks really, really tight. Uh, dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Echo of exchange. Melee final blows. Grant grenade energy. Your lingering grenade effects. Vortex grenade. Void wall. Void spike and axion have increased duration. Final blows when surrounded by combatants. Grant super energy. Dude, I love that little void buddy. The powerful little void buddy. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like a mini tether. It's not really a tether. It's kind of like a mini tether. The culmination know, of the last six to seven I guess years we'll find out more. Destiny altogether. And really, this is starting the road. Hunter holding a I smoke like bomb there. And the customizable build crafting. It all oh, this is really cool. Let's go back to the build. part where they so showed weapon crafting. And go and build that. And you know how. I love Chris Proctor. Great guy. You get there, and you get Father Sin's hand cannon and the thoughtless sniper rifle. Interesting. Exactly the thing that you want. I really want to see what people do with it and like the feedback that. Oh my God, dude. That looks so tight. We're going to get and people sharing all of the things that they're. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Frame by frame. Hold on. Frame by frame. Frame by frame. Hold on. Bear with me, chat. Okay, we got some new weapon perks here. We've got whatever that is. We've got two, whatever that is. Three, whatever that is. Uh, we've got... That's all familiar. Three new icons that are actually... These two look the same. These two look the same. And these two, yeah. So these... Why would there be... Oh, you take it from here and put it there. Take it here, put it there. So these two at least look the same. Frame by frame, frame by frame. Any new perks here? And what is that? That looks like a new weapon perk right there. Interesting. Keep looking here. All of the things that they're doing with that, that new so system. That looks so tight, bro. You're creating your guardian, and you want to be able to shape your guardian into what you want them to be and this gives us a great opportunity to continue to do that this is a, a really big season for weapons <laughs> we wind wounds it does kind of look like we wind uh, we've got eight brand new exotics <laughs> the fucking worm launcher the god i love that so much gun. this is Something which guardians have made, but it's a modern last Yeah, all of this looks really tight. And touch malice, fires, swarms of build crafting. We've got, you know, the usual suite of raid weapons, destination. Yeah, we've already and seen this. Wait, well, let's see. So we got this new hand cannon here. That is pretty tight. Uh, some kind of thick new chungus bow. I am interested in whatever that is. Uh, whatever that Recap. new fusion rifle is i am interested in that for sure but this morning i think it's about 50 new weapons 50 new weapons 50 new that's a lot of new weapons bro uh that is have, a lot two new exotic armor for each class total a lot six, of one new stasis, weapons one non-stasis the titan stasis exotic cast your barricade and instead of you know this we wanted empowering rift to feel like it had a First of all, that helmet is dope. This warlock has like little, little fucking horns on the helmet. Uh, that is super cool. Because we wanted empowering rift to feel like it had a place in endgame content the way that healing rift does. Empowering rift doesn't heal you. Well, what if it did? I'm betting that it's probably something like every kill you get. So you can't just stand in the rift and get the powers of both. Maybe it's like if you stand in an empowering rift and deal damage or get kills then you heal like on a kill or something like that like in that sounds correct to me oh here we go chaos accelerant uh hold to overcharge your grenade making it deadlier and more effective let's maximize this real quick for everybody's viewing pleasure uh vortex grenade increases the size and linger duration of the vortex axion bolt creates a wow so for the void aspect, essentially, you can just overcharge 
any grenade without... Wow, that's... Hmm. Damn. Wait a minute. Hold on. Magnetic grenade? Releases a short-range void blast. Like handheld supernova? Uh, has some munitions to track. This is all really cool. But wait a minute. I thought we could also... Didn't he say that any class can use the suppression grenade? So can you not overcharge the suppression grenade? I guess that would be too... <laughs> I guess that would be too broken if you had the ability to overcharge a suppression grenade. Lord knows what that would do. Um, wow, this is very interesting. Uh, huh. That is super cool. Is there any other child of the old gods? Oh, that's the one we heard about. Cast your rift to create a void soul. Void buddy! When you damage a target with a weapon, your void soul flies to them and drains them, doing damage and weakening them. Weakening them? Like they take more damage? Or weakening like, oh, you, no, it says doing damage and weakening them. Yeah, like, huh. Interesting. When a target is being drained, when you're given the target the good suck, you are granted grenade and melee energy if running healing rift or health if running empowering rift so if you're running empowering rift you get health healing rift grenade melee energy defeating a target who is being drained by your void soul will give class ability energy this is really cool uh i like that a lot dude if your void soul can weaken enemies in pvp that is really, really sick money. I wanted you to feel like you were the energy vampire. Look at these fucking weapons. That looks sick. Is that a shotgun? Some kind of crazy, weird hive shotgun chat? Feel like you were... Uh, 1104, you can see the Warlock armor has Cabal logo on it. Oh, we got that, uh, we got that tight Cabal. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And then pull out this little, like, sentient black hole. Oh, I love the little to be Void Buddy. That to the nation of the last six to seven years of go down, but things aren't challenged by. So wait, back the to the shield throw. If it's a uh, hard legs. confirm, this gives a fucking titan with just a different looking recipe. dick tower. Where is the shield throw? Different. Oh, I lost it. So you can just do that. Where, 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 really dick towel titan, where, where, oh, here, right, right, here. Fantasies that you know and love today. Here we go. We're gonna embellish okay, them. some kind of void dive. So what you'll see is, like, all of the new abilities. Titan with just a really long robe. We'll see the shield throw again. So he's clearly not in his super. Ability. At least I don't think he's in his super. And the titan just yeets this. So you can just throw actions. it whenever you want? You take it's gotta be some kind of new... Aspect or fragment? No, fragment is for everybody. It's got to be a new aspect. Reinforce that to the core. Pretty that cool. is super tight. They're really going to be challenged. Yeah, new gonna, kind of our, just random melee ability that you can just throw out there. Explode. Like a baby hammer. This poison. Right. Burst. It's a new a baby hammer throw. Where the whole idea is... Replaces the melee ability. Do you think you'll be able to pick it back up like the hammer? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Be the Colossus. Oh, dude, wait, look at uh, Wait, look at this. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at his hat. Look at Chris Proctor's hat. Is that at the bungee store? That's from the uh, the Last Wish raid. Yes, hunters will be getting some Void 3.0 love. Stay tuned. What do you mean? Do, do people think they weren't getting love? I thought they were getting love from that, uh, from that trailer. Whatever that, that void dive is, that looks pretty sick, dude. Like, are people, are, are people already complaining? People are already complaining that, like, you didn't show enough for the hunters. Why didn't you show anything for the hunters? 
How funny would it be if Bungie came out and they were like, yeah, well, you know what? We decided actually after a long conversation that, uh, you know what? F hunters. We, uh, we came to the conclusion that we decided we wanted to just straight up f hunters. Uh, they're, they're bad. They're bad. If you're a hunter, you should f***ing feel bad. You're just, we're, no. No. Hunters and complaining. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> oh my god. Good. Good call. Ah, oh, it's all really sick. Well, let's close on the close on the sound as effect. As soon as you see the knight pop its super and it has two shields, you oh, immediately are like, "Oh, we got a pull in the chat. Good yeah, call, Good call." And then it's like, <laughs> "Dude, I love that guy so much." And then you're like, so much. And then you're, "What's you're that guy's dead, name?" Dave, a, David something. Experience. The guardians themselves kind of feel like a fire team. I want to hear that. Against. They got every class represented. The acolyte, when that character casts. Does very similar thing as the player. Oh, like, that's sick. The arc wizard. <gasps> the sparks go out. <laughs> it's dude. They need to give that guy a raise. That guy is super funny. He's in like every V doc, and like he's always just being silly and making sound effects. He's just he brings the hype, dude. I love that guy. That are wielding the light. I love everything about that guy. All right, everybody, there you go. Hope you found that as entertaining as I did. If you want to chat about any of the new things that we saw pop into my Twitch chat today, I am live right now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.